Hey you guys, it's Danny. So today, we are going to be talking about a very, very special book that I was able to read a little bit early. I got a galley copy and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about Unlocking the Tarot by our own Lisa Pepez. So, okay, now look, I know she's my friend, so I am a little biased, I'm, I'm sure. But I did try to come at this and read this just as I would any other book. So, I mean, I'm going to say that, but I'm not going to not say that uh, when I got it in and opened it up that I sob cried on a glide like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay, so realness. Um, but I enjoyed the crap out of this book. <laughs> Like, y'all, look, look, I have highlighted, I have written in the margins, I don't know if you, yeah, you can kind of see some of those, like, I, I love this book, I cracked this spine wide open, I'm like, writing in my own little notes, like, I enjoyed the hell out of this book, um, and I think the best part is is that like not only did I take away so much from it but I think that if I would have had a book like this when I started tarot I think this would have made all the difference in the world like honest truth the way that she approaches it is just so well done so let me kind of, I, I have nothing prepared for this. I'm just, I'm excited and I wanted to share this. And I don't know, I just think it has so much to offer and I'm so excited and I can't wait for everybody to be able to get this in their hands. I'm gonna link all that stuff down below, but oh, this was so exciting. It really got me, I don't know, like uber excited to play with my tarot decks and matter of fact I got <laughs> I got a little deck that I used along with the book so just so you guys know the main gist and where I'm going with this is that Lisa has put the tarot into a space of creating your own keywords for each card right she gives her own keywords, she gives alternate keywords, and then she kind of leaves everything open so that you can kind of read these things and understand the card and find your own space, find your own way, use your own, you know, thoughts and keywords and things like that, along with a lot of support through each. And so as I went, through the book, I was highlighting and making notes and, you know, some of the things that she said, especially in the Major Arcana, like, look, look at this. I have, I have stuff written all over the High Priestess because the way that she explains some of the cards, it's like, I don't know why it felt like it kind of clicked into place. It was like, it's like hearing the, the, the basics and the symbolism from a friend, you know, like there's nothing complicated about it, right? It's very, it's very much like a conversation and it feels really open. And so as I went through, I had a deck. This is, look, do I have it in here? Oh no, I put it up. I put it up. This is the Heartwood Tarot. This was my uh, preview copy that I got, I rounded the edges and I said, well, I just got my uh, new copy in, the finished copy. And um, I said, well, that's perfect. I have two copies, one I'm gonna write on as I go through the book and one I'll have without the keywords on it. Um, but using, like finding a specific deck and then reading through this book and looking at both the original RWS and 
understanding the card and creating that keyword or knowing what keyword you would use for that and then looking at whatever deck you have in front of you and seeing how those keywords shift and change by what you're looking at in the card was amazing so if i had to recommend anything if you are going to follow along and write the, your own keywords on the card for like your own use or whatever i would definitely recommend since lisa follows the the original rws find a different deck and see how it shifts from what you're seeing on the page in the rws and what you're seeing in front of you because that was a really awesome experience especially if you are you know a seasoned tarot reader i think this was it was just an amazing exercise to go through each and every card and hear what lisa had to say not only about like right here i actually opened up to one of the pages where she's kind of going into the deeper spaces and she builds upon it so we have <clears throat> the elements of each suit she goes through each element and she has keywords for the so the elements i'm like getting all excited <laughs> um and trying to talk over myself so like you have your own keywords for the element for the numbers and then for the suit and the card itself right so it goes through like i said the elements and then the significance of the numbers and kind of uh keywords for each number which i absolutely loved and like some i would write my own in here especially with the numbers now i read uh playing cards so there are some things that i that flow not only with the idea of the number six uh, but also flow with my that practice that i, I have trouble un untangling um the number six for me is one of those that is always a pathway so it made me like immediately think of how how all of these can flow together right in all the different ways that i read and and systems that i use um it also kind of opened that up for me even though that's not in there but like i'm saying if you're starting base this is perfect to start and then if you are starting from a seasoned reader this is like a springboard to me like that's how it felt because like as i read it i was like oh this this will correspond and kind of opens up some stuff you know in the way that i read um playing cards are the way that i read you know some of my oracles or you know this that and the other it just it really opens that extra layer too because once you get to thinking about these things it like like i said this was a really inspiring for me it really reignited my excitement for using my tarot and, and all these things it, it really did um so anyway as i went through i kind of made my own little notes um the keywords that i would change or keep and i went through this whole thing with just uh, sheer excitement it was really fun like i said especially coming with at it with a deck that was so vastly different than an rws right um it really was just a fun exercise but in between each of your sections she gives you some spreads that you can use to like test out your new keywords basically um so it was really really fun to to do all this like i said i had my deck and this book together like i just as i went i played with my deck you know as i um as i finished each thing i did all the spreads right then and there it was like just a really fun exercise um what else do i want to talk about oh i really loved how she handled the court cards as well you can see i'm just i was highlighting i was a highlighting machine i just i love the way that she speaks about 
these cards. BRB. Okay, so that was my sister-in-law, and uh, I was talking to my uh, little nephew as well, and so I got completely derailed. So I don't know where we were, but I'm just going to kind of pick back up. We're just going to continue talking. I'm pretty sure we were talking about the court cards, the way that she... Oh, that's it. The way that she handled the court cards. Um, I love the way she spoke about them, number one. But then she assigned each one of them a fictional character. Um, and that was super fun to me. Uh, it got me thinking about who I would choose for my own. There were some that I was like, oh my God, she hit, she hit that one right on the head. You know what I mean? And there were some other ones that I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking of this person. And there were a few that kind of stumped me where I was like, I don't know who I would put in there. It's like, my mind's trying to think of all these like characters, book characters, movie characters, all this stuff. And it's like, where do I even go? Who do I even start thinking about? You know? Um, but most of them, uh, were super easy. Either I completely agreed or I was like, Oh, I know right away who I would put in that place. So I thought that, that was really fun. Um, but then after we go through all of them, she did something that I absolutely loved is that she went into, um, chapter six is don't let these mix ups trip you up. And she kind of goes over cards that are very similar and a lot of people kind of have trouble with and goes through them together. Not only ma uh, major arcana, but throughout. And I thought it was incredibly helpful to take another look at those cards and really define them. Because there were some that, you know, even still I pull and they kind of blend together for me. So I have this kind of mush, mushy meaning. And this kind of really helped me think about the cards together so that I could really kind of set them apart. So I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and then she also goes through some different connections and connects a couple of cards together, which was also really fun. Um, so there's a lot of, of other really great information in here. Some more spreads that she kind of walks you through at the end, which was really great. Um, and then she talks about breaking the rules of tarot. That's kind of how she ends it out. And I'm telling you, this was so much fun to go through. So now I have my own set. I used, literally, I used a ballpoint pen. I just used a ballpoint pen. <laughs> And I put them all kind of in the same place. Some of my keywords you can see. The Seven of Wands, I have Alert. I'm sure you can tell how this deck inspired me to kind of use this stuff. And you can kind of see where I've gone. Eight of Cups, Departure. Ooh, I like to throw that card. I'm going to have... The Hermit, Introspection. I love this card. I have it, a little preview card of it that I have hanging right here uh, that I've had, I think, since I got Oak, Ash, and Thorn. Oh, so stinking cute. Anyway, show you a couple more of mine. My Page of Cups. I'm sorry, Page of Cups. Four of Cups, Stagnant. My Eight of Swords, Overwhelm. I just love these cards. Oh my god. Ten of Wands. Another one that inspired me with this one. The Burnout. I was like, that's the perfect keyword for this deck. Love it. The Empress, Mothering. just go through a couple more the fool I have risk 
Eight of Wands, Determination. Four of Pentacles, I have Guard. Ace of Cups, Bounty. Two of Pentacles, Priorities. Two of Wands, I have Possibility. so cute. I have Spark for the Ace of Wands. One more. The Four of Wands, I have Milestone. This was so fun and I'm, y'all, I'm thoroughly enjoying this little deck too. I'm really glad that um, I chose this one just because we're coming into that you know, fall vibe <laughs> and I'm just really excited to use this deck oh. so yeah can you tell how excited this is that I'm like I absolutely loved this so like I said I know this isn't anything formal and anything like that um, but I just I really wanted to share my experience with Lisa's book and just say that it's well worth a read. I've, I, I have already and would recommend this to people who are just getting into tarot. I had um, a client over uh, to my shop the other day for a reading, and she was like, "I'm, I'm thinking about buying a deck, and, and you know, just starting to learn because I, I was looking at the pictures, and so I started looking up the meanings, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> do keywords if you want to learn it." try it this way. Um, so I would definitely recommend this to beginners for sure. If you have somebody that you know, or if you're just getting into it right now, um, honestly, this was such a wonderful way to get to know the cards and to really kind of hone in your own, you know, your own keywords. I just feel like it helps you connect so well, you know? So I just think that it would be really beneficial. Um, and like I said, as a seasoned tarot reader, this still gave me so much to think about, just like so many other books. Um, but this one, being able to work right along with it just really made all the difference. And I loved it. And I hope you guys check it out. Like I said, I'm going to have all that stuff linked down below. Um, but if you've got it already or if you're thinking of getting it and you get it and you read it, I would love, love, love to know um, what you think about it and what you thought and if you went along with it and what deck you use. I'm super, super curious. Um, so make sure you drop those in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing each other very soon. I'm sending you all my love. Mwah. Later, Gators. <laughs>